Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw the behind the scenes for this photo shoot. Um, if you haven't seen it, you should check the link in the description for the photo shoot. So these are some of the images that I did not show in the video because um, you know we have to keep the video short. So I'll be editing one of these images. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do one in this video or two. I want to keep this video to about 10 minutes <laughs> or maybe 15 minutes. All my other videos are like 20 minutes and 25 minutes. And I'm so happy that you guys actually sit and watch it. So I'm going to pick one of these images right now for the edit. I'm not sure which one to pick. My issue is that I did not realize I was shooting at 500 ISO. I don't even know why I'm at 500 ISO for some of these images. Like it makes no sense whatsoever. But I did. Um, does it affect the image in, in any way? Um, somewhat. It does. Uh, I'm always shooting at 100 ISO, but I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure what happened. And it was about what time was it? Let me see. It was about five o'clock in the in the day. I was doing this. It was a little bit. It was not overcast. I had sun in the background, but yeah. So I'm not sure which image I'm going to edit yet. I think I like this one. I'm gonna start with this one. So Control E to bring it over to Photoshop. I just noticed that my Photoshop is not open. All right, while Photoshop is loading, um, guys, I've started a brand new um wedding page so you guys need to go over and subscribe to this wedding page all of my weddings i'll be posting here and for behind the scenes for the weddings and stuff like that i want to post them here i don't want to mix my andre designs with the weddings um photos so yeah and also let me come over here to my personal page uh thank you guys for 190 subscribers i'm going to be uploading a lot of content to this page i'll be uploading a new pc build and some other stuff so stay tuned for that it's just that i'm doing a lot of stuff and it's just taking some a lot of my time all right let's get right to the editing i'm in two minutes already all right so this image is not sharp but guess what it's still a good image this image will not be printed i'm, I'm giving it to the talent and that's just it basically so because the image is going to be uploaded to Instagram, um, you know, you don't really have to worry about it not being sharp, but always aim to get your images sharp. All right, so let's start editing now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to crop the image, as you guys know. Let me come right here and I'm going to crop it right there. Normally, I would show the um, settings, but that is it. Just pause the video. You can look at the settings. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start the editing process now. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a copy and then I'm just going to zoom up. I press J on the keyboard for the clone stamp for the patch tool. I'm just going to remove all the blemishes real quick because I don't want my videos to be too long. So, yeah, but when you're editing your images, guys, please do not rush it because you will miss a lot of things. And, you know, my videos is just to show you how I edit my images. I'm not actually teaching you guys how to edit. I'm just showing you how I do it. And if you can learn anything from it, that would be awesome. So that's that. I'll come right here. Remove these as well. Yeah, all right. Good. That looks good. And come down. All right. That's good. I that, don't think I need to do anything else. I'm going to do frequent separation as well because I need to work on her arms. So I'm going to click on the frequent separation action, which you can uh, download it from using uh, from my website by using the link in the description. I'm going to put this at about seven and press OK. Reason why I put it at seven is because I can put it at seven. All right. I'm going to press M on the keyboard for my mixer brush. Remember, your mixer brush is going to be nested on the brushes. Once you're on the mixer brush, you're going to select two for the wetness. Everything else remains the same. And you can just click this and it will clear the brush or you click right here and clear the brush. All right, so let's get right to the mixing. So you want to mix on the low frequency layer. So this layer here, all right. So I'm doing just mixing. So basically the mixing will flatten the skin. 
and after you flatten the skin you then use dodge and burr what am i saying dodge and blur to dodge and blur no dodge and burn <laughs> to um shape you know give it a, a dimension shape the skin all right uh the face is not 100 percent in focus but i'm still going to apply the um dodge the um frequent separation so that means i may have to do two images but i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to do two images in this video all right so that's done let's look at the before and after for everything let me just zoom it up so hold on on alt and then press this eye right here that's the before that's the after right so oh see if you're rushing you will miss stuff so because i'm using frequent separation i'm going to use the clone stamp tool so i'm going to press go to the high frequency layer and then press s on the keyboard for the clone stamp tool my clone stamp tool is 100% and i'm just going to sample right here and then just paint over all right it's not doing a good job but what you could do as well is to go down to the low frequency layer and just repeat it and it will remove the um anything that you want to remove from the skin all right so this is taking too long so i'm just gonna use the patch tool for this one so keep selected keep it selected and then go down to the low and then do the same thing that's faster so all right keep it selected and just move on hope i'm not moving too fast keep it selected go down to the low do that good so i'm done just check the clothing to ensure that there's nothing else there that looks good all right so i'm just going to minimize this right here and then i'm going to come up here to burn and then i'm just going to shape the skin ensure that your foreground is white when you're painting on black all right and then get the brush i'm going to put my brush flow at one percent good and then i'm just going to you know paint the outer part of the models arm just to shape it right, that looks good let's make a selection right there all right that looks good perfect let me just come up to the model's face and just do here then the side and the side and the neck just a little bit all right let's look at it before and after for what i've just done before and after nothing too much so now i'm going to do color grading so i'm going to press ctrl shift alt e and then ctrl j to create a du duplicate and then i am going to go to camera right there and i'm going to play with the colors now this is my favorite part i love to do color grading so i'm going to press auto and auto give me something nice i'm just going to press the y right here for the before and after view so this is what i'm working on this is the before and then i'm gonna play with the dehaze a little bit like right there that looks good and then i'm gonna come right here to collaboration and then i'm gonna adjust the blues all right so the blues is gonna change the color of her um floating right here because it's blue so i don't want to do that so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna press ok because i'm okay with what i've just done and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a duplicate now and then i'm gonna go back to camera again and then i'm gonna push the blues in so i'm gonna go back to collaboration and then push the blue in because what i do i like the blue i like when i when i adjust the blue hue it gives me a nice skin tone and i love that skin tone see this nice skin tone all right yeah i like that all right and because i want to keep the same blue in the in the dress what i'm going to do now is to create a mask by just pressing the mask right there and then turn this to black because i'm painting on white and then put my opacity to 100 i'm still on the brush so i'm gonna do that we'll bring up the size of the brush and i'm just gonna paint in back the blue in the models um dress because you want to have the original color and there are a lot of different ways you could actually do the masking but i chose to do it this way all right that looks good 
perfect all right good what's happening right here okay that looks good all right so the next step now is to um still color the image so i'm gonna come right here and put some blue in the image a little bit because that's my signature look i love to add blues to the shadow and then i'm gonna add the color lookup as a matter of fact let me see if i can use a different color lookup right so i'm gonna come right here to the color lookup um adjustment layer right here so click on color lookup and then i'm gonna look for one that is different i'm just gonna press this and use the arrow key to go down mm, nah. this one looks good let me just lower the opacity and see what it looks like i think this is the one i always use all right so i'm not going to choose that one. Oh, i like this this one looks good let me see before and after all right i'm not going to use any of these uh i just for the video sake guys you can choose a different lot for your images by using the color lookup if you're not seeing the adjustment here you can come to windows and click on adjustments and you can find the color lookup right here so i'm going to delete this one i'm going to apply my color lookup that i've done and then i'm going to lower the opacity to about 14 percent 20 percent before and after good so that's done uh i think i want to do something i'm going to control shift alt e to create a duplicate and then control j i'm going to see if i can add i'm going to go back to um color not color camera raw, and i'm going to use this radial filter here just to see if i can apply a nice color to it like that so this color that it applied was something that was selected before so the temperature is up in the yellow a little bit so that's 14 and some little adjustment was made as well so i'm going to do another one i think i have to do new and then click on this again and then come down here because i want to warm it up a little bit so let's look at the before and after so after adding the adjustments this is what i got so this looks really good so all the other images if i'm going to edit any other image when she's on the um swing this is the same effect i'm going to use i remember exactly what i did so yeah so that's it for the image um there's nothing else i'm going to do so let's look at the before and after for everything now so we'll duplicate put this back right there go to windows then go to arrange then vertical up and then this is going to be the before so I'm just going to click right here and then scroll down and then click on alt and then the eye. Good. So that's the before and that is the after. I'm trying to get it to line up. Okay. So it's not lining up. Okay, guys. So that is it. My video is at 13 minutes. That's awesome. So if you learn anything from this, guys, just give me a thumbs up, share the video. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.